Y'all know what I'm talking about today? I'm talking about Dune. I'm talking about Dune, okay? I saw the movie about two weeks ago. I know, I'm one of the lucky few. Um, well, a lot of people have seen it, but still. US hasn't seen it, so like that, well, wait. <laughs> I wasn't really thinking about making a video on Dune because I figured, what do I have to say that others haven't already said? And that argument still stands. But I like talking about movies and I would like to talk about this movie and it just, it fits. I'm gonna make the video, why not, right? Um, because so many people haven't seen it, I feel it's only fair I include a really brief, really brief, I'm talking like this, this much, um, spoiler free discussion. Uh, I'm not gonna be saying much, but if you guys wanna hear my basic general thoughts on the film, keep watching and I will dismiss you when you're free to go. And then when you've seen the movie, come on back and we'll talk some more about it because I'm curious to hear your thoughts as well. First off, I loved the film. I loved it, I thought it was amazing. I went in pretty biased. Denis Villeneuve, he's my favorite director currently, has been for a while and I love Timothy Chalamet. Who doesn't? At this point, like, where's Waldo needs to be where's the person that doesn't like Timothy Chalamet, okay? So when I was walking into the theater to see the movie, I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna love this, but I wasn't really thinking, like, because of the story. Uh, I did not anticipate how much I was actually going to enjoy the story and what was happening in the movie. I loved it. I had fun watching it. Now, considering I knew absolutely nothing about the story going in, um, I thought it was done really well because there were only a few points where I was like, wait, what did she just say and why did she say it? Or why did he do this? There were only a few points in the movie that gave me that feeling, but it was never enough to distract me from like what was going on after that point. And usually those little loose ends were tied up real nice a couple minutes later. And so when I walked out of the theater, all that really left us, you know, myself and the people I saw the movie with um, talking about was, well, what are we gonna see next? You know, we know what happened. Now we wanna know what happens next. The performances were amazing. I'm not gonna talk about who in particular yet, but there are some scene stealers and I was really, really surprised by some of the performances. Anyways, I wanna leave the spoiler-free section off with a warning. There are points in the movie where dialogue can be difficult to understand, whether that be because of languages or accents or maybe the character is just like being really quiet. I didn't particularly run into this issue, but some of the people I saw the movie with complained about it afterwards. So it might be something you run into. It might not be a problem at all, but I feel that I should warn you because I know that some people let that affect their opinion on the movie, which I just think is unreasonable. But anyways, just know that that could occur. And obviously with a story like this, that is very detailed. Dialogue is important because those are the clues you're given as to, you know, what is unfolding. So it is important that you're able to understand what characters are saying. So if you're concerned, you might run into that issue. You might choose to find a copy, um, you know, once it's released on like streaming services or maybe at your theater um, that has subtitles. Some people like subtitles, some people don't. Anyways, just wanted to warn you about it because I don't want to see a bunch of stuff on social media afterwards that are complaining about Dune like people were complaining about Tenet. Okay, that's about it for the spoiler free section. I think this movie is best seen when you don't really know what you're gonna see. So thanks. Um, I hope that once you guys watch the movie, you come back and listen to my thoughts and then tell me yours. And I hope that you guys enjoyed as much as I did. All right, now on to spoiler talk. So I first wanna talk about performances. The scene stealer I was talking about is Rebecca Ferguson. First off, I, like I said, I didn't know anything about the story, so I didn't know how involved her character was going to be. Um, and also her character is really, really cool. I mean, anytime she was on the screen, my eyes were glued to her. And I'm, I'm talking even when it was just her and Timothy on the screen. And that is a hard thing to do. Yeah, um, I think that she captured her character's really complex and disturbed emotions really well. She was just really convincing and I cannot wait to see what her character does 
in the next part because the way that things left off in the movie was just confusing. Obviously, Timothy Chalamet, he's an amazing actor. I was really, really excited to see him in this movie because I feel like before he hasn't restricted himself, but he's primarily in drama movies or, you know, ram romance movies. And so I was excited to see him step into this action genre although I think this is more of like a subgenre of action. And I thought he did a really good job. His chemistry with Rebecca Ferguson was great. And um, I really enjoyed watching the relationship between those two characters. And it's confusing the relationship between those two characters. I didn't really know what to make out of it. And I think that that was intentional. And yeah, I think he did a great job. I would really like to see him in more movies like this, but I will say I'm really pleased that his first, you know, big endeavor into the action-y genre is with a movie like Dune. That's much more epic and big and um, complex rather than a Marvel Transformers type action movie, just because I think he's a much more emotional actor. Um, and not saying that none of the Marvel actors are, but I think that he just fits this kind of movie much more rather than the action. Hopefully that makes sense. The other performances are obviously really good. I mean, this movie is, the cast is absolutely I mean, expensive, right? <laughs> I will say though, I wasn't the biggest fan of Oscar Isaac's performance, but in this movie, one, um, I don't know what it's like in the books, but I think that the actor should have been older. To me, him and Timothy didn't really look like father and son. They looked more like cousins or older brother, younger brother. But again, I don't know anything about the book. Maybe he's not supposed to be older. Anyways, to me, he just didn't come across as this a uh, really important, dedicated, legendary figure that I felt like they were trying to portray him as. You know, he is supposed to be this person that rules and leads, you know, an entire nation of people. And I just didn't really get that. I f don't know, I don't know. And I didn't really get chemistry between him and Timothy. Not saying that it's that important in the movie, because uh, I don't think it really would have changed much, but it would have been nice. As I said earlier, the pacing is really, really, really good. I thought it was really good. Obviously, if you go into this movie thinking you're gonna see an action-packed, uh, boo, let's fight, let, let's fight in spice. No, it's not a movie like that. If that had happened, we, everyone would have left the theater, unless you've read the book, everyone would have left the theater still not knowing what just happened because this movie had to take the time to introduce the characters that needed to be introduced in this part, introduce the locations and the tales of these people. So considering there was so much to unpack in the movie, I think it did it really well. Uh, and there's one scene in particular that I didn't think really fit and flowed well with the rest of the movie. And that's when um, Arrakis is being invaded. Yeah, that's the whole scene where Josh Brolin is like, let's fight. And then he runs off and we don't see him ever in the movie again. Um, I would have liked to know what happened to his character. Did he die? Is he alive? Was that intentional? Is he going to show up in the next movie? Even then, I would have liked to see a little bit more of what happens to him. I thought it was a little weird, but the scene it just didn't really feel as epic as I felt like it should have been. Okay, I just had to stop recording really quickly. But anyways, what I was saying is that scene where Josh Brolin was like, let's fight. And um, there's suddenly like this action sequence, but not really. And there's basically just a bunch of explosions. I just felt it was a little out of place. Didn't fit the rest of the movie. That's just my opinion. I would have liked to see maybe something that reflected like the the battle traditions of each party involved. But anyways, it still is not a bad scene by any means. It's still a lot of fun to watch. I just didn't think that it fit the, with the rest of the movie. The score is insane. And I've actually seen a lot of people complaining about it, saying it was overbearing and um, just too much and didn't fit. I completely disagree. I thought it was beautiful, really captured the essence of the environment and the characters at the same time. And I think that that's a difficult task. 
but yeah, I really enjoyed it. I've actually been listening to the score in my free time because I loved it so much and I felt like it was something that was really new um, and vibrant that I hadn't heard in movies for a long time. So um, that was something I really liked about it. Those are my thoughts on Dune. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope, I really hope that you guys comment your thoughts on the movie if you've seen it. Hopefully you've seen it if you're watching the spoiler section or if you don't care about spoilers, that's okay too. Yeah, I'd love to talk about the movie with you guys, so please comment, leave video suggestions, tell me some other movies that you guys think relate to this movie. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. I'm gonna go eat some soup, I think. Or a smoothie bowl. I don't know.